Of course, virtual meetings are now common during the pandemic, and we hear of stories of people forgetting to mute themselves at the wrong time. Turns out that's exactly what happened at the state legislature last week. Let's get to News 13's Brady Wakiyama. Brady. Jackie, a lobbyist, thought she was muted during a virtual Senate committee meeting when she had harsh words for lawmakers that led to a heated conversation. Oh, I got legislative sessions going and these are trying to throw taxes on us. Those comments made during Thursday's Senate Finance Committee meeting didn't sit well with Senator Jacob Candelaria, who fired back immediately. Speaking as one of the uh, Mr. Chairman, um, that was super inappropriate. And uh, I think it really shows us how the business community really thinks about the people of New Mexico. Right there, clear, clear as day. The hot mic incident happened as lawmakers were discussing House Bill 291, a tax reform package which was unanimously passed in the Senate. It would expand a tax credit for low-income workers that one in four New Mexicans receive and expands the low-income comprehensive tax rebate. Minutes after the interruption, Senator Candelaria brought up his frustrations again. I find it fascinating we have these business lobbyists calling members of this committee That's... That's a new one for me, I'll tell you. As he was speaking, he was interrupted by more noise from within the meeting. So the chair of the committee demanded that person be removed. Dana Martinez, Nathan, can you meet whoever's talking or kick him out? And I did reach out to Senator Jacob Candelaria and the woman who made the comments, but did not hear back. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brady. The House approved the Senate's amendments to House Bill 291. It now just needs approval from the governor.